Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm out at the local park. Sometimes I come here to fly my drones, or even sometimes even uh, run a roll control car here. And it's just a beautiful day. Beautiful, I think it's November the 4th, I believe it is. I lose track of the day sometimes. In the mid 60s Fahrenheit, just beautiful weather. So I thought I'd come out and review a couple of drones. And in this video, I'm reviewing this little dirt cheap foldable drone from AliExpress. This is the E99. K3 Pro is what it goes by, but as you can see on the box, it's just the E99 drone, they call it. So, you know, various names that it goes by, which is pretty typical. They claim stuff like a 4K camera and nonsense like that. This is like $16, dirt cheap. So a lot of people are probably gonna pick this up for their first drone. I wanna see how this guy flies. Very lightweight, it's gonna be well below the 250 gram limit um, for FAA registration or remote ID here in the United States. And of course it's foldable, so we just fold out the arms. You have some pretty cool LED lights in the front and one in the rear. Your little camera here, you just have to manually tilt this to aim it the way you want it to go. Comes with just one uh, LiPo battery, which I already have installed. This is a 3.7 volt, so it's a 1S LiPo, and it is 1800 milliamp hours. So I ought to get a pretty decent flight time out of this. Now it comes with a carrying case, which is pretty cool for you know, 16 bucks to actually get a carrying case with it. You get uh, some prop guards, a USB charging cable, because the battery does have a little red light that will come on when you're charging it. And it'll go out whenever it's finished charging. And some spare props in there. And you get one of these you know, controllers that are pretty common with these toy grade drones. It takes three AA batteries. You've got your power button, you've got your left and right uh, trim here, and your forward back trim right here. This is your auto takeoff, and one below it is your auto landing. On the top here, we got it says a high and low speed, so I assume it's two. Sometimes I'll have three speed rates. This is your one key return, which basically flies backwards. Um, it doesn't land itself, it just flies backwards, the opposite direction it's facing at takeoff. I would never, ever rely on that, because it's not very good. You got your photo video button here. I short press, uh, photo long press video probably. I'll just do it within the app. And you get your 3D flips button right here. These antennas are fake, so there's no reason to put them up because you need a wire inside these for these to be real, and there's none. And this you pull out to put your phone in there to hold your phone while you're flying to see the FPV. Now the app for this is called, let me just pull it up on my phone here. It is called the, um, KY FPV app. I'll put a screenshot from the Play Store up there so you can see what app it is. The, the manual is in Chinese and English, so the inside is English, so you know it's decent instructions. And also the, the calibrate the gyro, if, you, if it's wanting to drift really bad, it's both sticks down and out and the lights will flash on this. So pretty interested in taking this out and see how this little guy flies. Now you're just recording video over the Wi-Fi feed. It's probably gonna be 720p. It might say 4K because the app may upscale it, but it's not gonna look any better. It's just a gimmick and a trick. But we'll take it up here and fly it around and just see how this guy performs. So uh, enough, as my friend Marcus always says, enough jibber jabbering, let's get this bird up in the air. All right, so I have the drone connected to the app and we, let's get up in the air and see how this drone performs. Now, my phone, even with the case off, I have it on right now, it just keeps flying out of this little you know, phone clip holder these, this, this controller has been around for years, and obviously it's just not quite adept at holding these larger phones. So I'm not going to be able to fly by FPV, so keep that in mind if you would buy this. You know, your phone may not see it. You may be able to rig it up with some rubber bands that I don't have with me. So I'm just going to start recording the video so we can include that with this review. And I'll set my uh, phone down here on the table. So let's start recording some video, and it should be now. Let's go ahead and let's do the, the gyro calibration. Like I said, they have the antennas down because they are not real. And they'll beep at you. And let's go ahead and let's see, let's go. Let's go into the highest rate just because there is some wind. Let's just go ahead and do the auto takeoff. You know, it's a brush drone and there's, you know, those gears in there. So it's pretty noisy. But look, that's pretty darn stable. Might need us a little bit of right trim. All right. That flies pretty good. So you guys should be able to see how the video looks. I'm gonna keep the drone relatively close to me so that the uh, 
since I'm not able to move the phone with me, I don't want to, you know, I'll lose the video feed if you go very far on this Wi-Fi. Real calm right now. There was some decent breeze a while ago, but it's very calm. Let's try some of those 360 flips while we have, you know, wind. And just like you'd expect, these little toy drones like this always are good, we call 3D flippers. <laughs> Yeah, for 16 bucks, you can't go wrong. This thing works perfect. This would be a great little drone to buy. Someone just wanting a little backyard flyer that doesn't want to spend a lot of money, a Christmas present. You can see those front white LEDs there. Let's bring it down. But I don't know if the one in the rear is not so easy to see, but I know it was on. Let's see if I can get closer. Can we see it? Yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's that little blue light in there. So yeah, otherwise you just fly it around here and see how it does. One thing on the bottom there is that little uh, Wi-Fi antenna. It's just a wire. Let's see if I can get close enough we can see it. But that's something that I would, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really have it extended too well, but you want to pull that straight down that's gonna help increase your range a little bit. This is the highest rate. Let's take it down to the lowest rate to see, you know, is it better for filming? Obviously this is a toy drone, so we can't expect much in the video. Photos are just gonna be like the video still. So if you just freeze the video, then you'll get an idea what a photo looks like. So it's a little slower. By not seeing any input lag, which is good. That's full speed. Let's go to middle rate. Y'all's more. And the highest rate. See, I saw you could see it just tilt down a little bit more with a little more pitch. Let's try a few more flips. This thing's probably sporty enough. We could probably do some funnels. Let's see if we can. Just do like this. Yeah, not too bad. Some drones do that like an auto funnel. But they're, you know, you can easily get out of control. So it's kind of nice just to be able to do those on your own. Yeah, this is great. Obviously, I don't know what the video looks like. This is my first flight with this, so you guys should be seeing it. Assuming everything worked all right. I did do a little test and it did save to my gallery, so we should have that video. Again, I, I can't tell you. I got a spider web hanging here. I hope it's not in front of the lens. Um, I couldn't tell you exactly the statistics or anything, but probably 720p, it, but again, it may say 4K. And if it is 4K, upscaled or you know within an app then there'll be no way to tell you the exact true but it's usually 720p is what they usually do and just use some trickery I don't expect this drone uh, I should say I expect this drone not don't to have a pretty good flight time with the 1800 milliamp battery for a drone that's gonna be really lightweight I didn't weigh it but it's that's very light. Looks sort of like, a, you know, the original, well, any, all, any of the DJI. The Mini and the Mini 2, obviously the Mini 3 and 4 have a different look, but the original Minis. Yeah, the wind let up at the perfect time. Let's see if we can bring it over here and just do an auto landing and see how well that works. Spin it over here. See if we can. There's a little breeze. Gonna auto landing. Oh yeah, it landed. Well, you know what? I think that's probably enough. There's not much else I can do except for fly this down to a dead and let you know the flight time. But you know, it's still going decent. Let's see if the app shows me any. Uh, and you want to make sure you stop recording before you power this off. You'll probably lose the video. I don't see a power uh, indicator for the battery, but I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. And now we got the video saved. 
If you power these drones off and they're using Wi-Fi, you're very likely to, the video just doesn't know how, that it stopped and you just lose it and it's corrupted. So be sure you stop it. There's that antenna I was talking about. It's best to have it like that. That way you're gonna have the best reception uh, from your phone to the Wi-Fi from every angle. All right, guys, that's a, this is a pretty darn good little drone for 16 bucks. There'll be an affiliate link to AliExpress down in the video description in the pinned comment. Won't cost you any more, but if you use that, it'll help give a little bit of support to the channel. All right, guys, that wraps up the review of the E99K3 Pro drone. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. While you're at it, click the bell. That way you're notified every time I do upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a great day. The power of the dark side, side, side.